you know, and I'm like cooking a steak on the grill and like everyone's mouth starts to water and it smells really good. Does your mouth start to water when I mow the lawn? <laughs> Did you know vegetables feel pain too? If we didn't eat animals, they'd eat us. Humans are carnivores. See that too? <laughs> My neighbor's cousin's brother was a vegan once and he felt really sick and then he ate steak, felt fine. I could never eat tofu. What are we doing today, Emily? Well, we are both vegetarians in an area that is really not full of vegetarians. Meat, meat and potato country. Yeah, I mean, it's what we are, Bob. It's winter, like yeah, it's like it's winter here, like well, like at right least, now. Yeah, and there's it's snow outside. Yeah. yeah, so I mean, honestly, what does that do with anything? Well, I just mean like we don't have fresh fruits and vegetables unless we, they're okay, shipped yeah, here fair enough, fair enough. for many months so it makes sense that everyone up here is like a meat and potatoes that's what yeah. their diet is um so anyway. and i think that's probably most of modern civilization now like well at most. least western civilization it's like you get a big hunk of meat on your plate mm -hmm. and you have supporting ingredients mm -hmm. and it's just it's so like it's so ingrained yeah. that everyone just if you build a meal you start with well what am i gonna eat beef chicken pork fish right and that's how it always starts. And we're not saying, we're not judging you for doing Mom. that. Well. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> and, um, you know, there, there's nothing wrong with you doing that. We're, we just sure. don't. Yeah. Yeah, we just don't. So we're going to go through five things that we always hear when we're like, hey, we're vegetarians. Mm -hmm. And without a doubt, someone in the group or who meets us will ask these things yeah. or say these things every single time. We get it, people. We even, get it. I mean, you even don't like family vegetables. members, but honestly, oh, yeah. mostly family members. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and uh, we have two bonus at the end, so stick around for those ones. Because if you're a meat eater, you've probably said these things to a vegetarian. <laughs> yeah. So um, let's get going. Yeah. Um, something that I get a lot, especially from, well, my own mother, really, <laughs> when I started eating like this, but... How are you gonna get protein? Protein, people. I know if you look at your little food pyramid, mm -hmm. or whatever it is, your little, your chart. Okay, wait. The food pyramid is a little bit of a conspiracy theory because the people, you know, the people <laughs> make the, the food pyramid and send it out as this is what you should eat are funded by dairy companies and uh, the meat industry. Okay, let's just move on. All right. So how do we get our protein? It always, anytime you talk about protein, like I work in a kitchen, and when you talk about building your meal, it's always, well, what's the protein gonna be? And what they mean is, what kind of what meat are we gonna have? Now, I get it, like meat is high in protein, it's calorie dense, it's an easy way to get it, and it's, it's tasty. Mm -hmm. But people, come on. Okay, let me- Vegetables have protein. Right, and my favorite thing to say is, you eat cows, but where do you think cows get protein? Cows don't eat meat. They get it from the sun. Yeah. The sun. <laughs> they eat yeah, it from the grass. Yeah, they eat grass, they eat yeah. hay, whatever, whatever they eat. Corn, yeah. cows, well, are nowadays vegetarians. It's soy, corn, and antibiotics. Yeah, but bad things. But usually anyway, they get it from grass. They're vegetarians, as are most of the animals that we eat, right? Well, pigs aren't, are they? I don't know. I think I, pigs I, will eat what anything. I, what but... I'm trying to say is that there's protein in beans. There's protein in soybeans and, and something else tofu oh there you go with the tofu you're gonna shoot yourself in the foot for saying that Tempe. later thanks i think what a lot of people need to realize when it comes to protein is that something you just have to add different things to your diet that you might not normally eat i mean if you're mm -hmm. eating a salad or you're eating like we do a lot of smoothies um which everyone loves smoothies but you can add nuts and mm -hmm. seeds um yeah nuts have legumes you know we and don't just eat quinoa. Even like, yeah, and even like broccoli, that has protein. Yeah. It has a lot of protein. Um, anyway, that's where we get our protein, from yeah. beans and, and seeds something and, else and veggies. that made me feel better when, or my mother feel better, is when have you ever heard of anyone being protein deficient? Mm, I don't think I ever have. I don't think that's I don't think I've ever thing. heard of anyone being deficient in anything. Vitamin C. Vitamin D. Sure. Iron. Anyway. <laughs> All right, moving on to number two. Um, so again, when I work at a kitchen or like 
whenever I'm eating somewhere, I always ask, or you know, I always say, or you know, I, I don't usually ask because I don't want people to ask questions to me, but I'll be like, no, I don't, I don't want that for whatever reason. Or if they're serving me, I'll be like, no, that's all right, I'll just eat something else. Yeah. And um, they always say, oh, right, you're a vegetarian. Well, don't worry. This is just, it, it, there's no meat in it, just a little bit of chicken broth. Or like, yeah. oh, no, you don't need gravy? Like, or, oh. or they'll just straight up say it's vegetarian because it's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a it's vegetable vegetarian, soup. Yeah. But the base is chicken broth, or they're giving you pot mashed potatoes, but it has gravy. Yeah. And maybe we can teach you something here today that <laughs> chicken and beef stock, fish stock, um, right. you have to boil animals in water to get that flavor. Yeah. Like, that's where it comes from, people. I mean, it's, So it's, it's not vegetarian. And, well, like, the whole point of vegetarianism is you don't eat things that an animal had to die yeah. to make. Like, that's, that's where it all comes from. But right. and if you want to eat gravy and not eat meat, go for it. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to say, oh, like, don't call yourself vegetarian. Yeah. Just from a factual standpoint, it's, it's not. not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Moving on. Okay. Um, a lot of people will say, oh, you're vegetarian. But so do you eat fish yeah, or do you at least eat chicken? <laughs> so you don't, and, eat, you don't eat any meat? You don't eat yeah, chicken? Yeah, I, I just think as a rule... When you say vegetarian, the base of your diet is fruits and vegetables and anything with a face. Is yeah, not that's eating. something that I, I met a vegetarian in the kitchen years ago. He's not a vegetarian anymore, but he would always come in and whenever someone asked him, he'd be like, I don't eat anything with a face. And I always thought that was, that was a, I always try to think of an all encompassing term yeah. that gets all animals. And I think for the most part, all animals have face, which maybe isn't true. Shell, some shellfish probably don't, but. You get the point. Yeah. Nothing with a face. Fish have a face. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so does chicken. So. so does chicken. Yeah. Moving on. <laughs> um, another one we get a lot is um, people always say, well, I could, what do, you, what do you eat all day? Salad? I could never eat that much salad. Like, when mm -hmm. you think of a vegetarian, you think, geez, or when you, if you've ever started to become a vegetarian and you haven't really kind of dove in, delved, dive, dove. Really, oh, it, yeah. yeah, gotten yourself into different kinds of foods that you can eat. Um, everyone who starts, they always start with salad. Yeah. It's like, I'm well, just going to eat two salads a day, a salad for lunch every single day. I think people who have never even considered that diet, that's what they think you eat. Yeah. So when you say you're vegetarian, they're like, oh, I can never eat that much salad. And let me tell you, I don't think I've eaten salad once. <laughs> Since being vegetarian, and that's because I don't really oh, like salad. I mean, we've had it a couple times. I don't know, see, a cu remember. Yeah, a couple, but I don't really like salad unless it has meat on it. Yeah. So I don't really eat salad. I mean, I find. And I eat it quite a bit at work, especially because um, we have yeah. a salad bar that I can eat off of. But you don't eat. You've said it many times that the only time you like salad is with chicken. Mm -hmm. And since you don't eat chicken, you don't eat salad. But. There are other ways to get your vegetables that aren't just a traditional lettuce mm -hmm. and, um, you know, just cooked vegetables, steamed vegetables, throw it into smoothies, juice, um, you name it. But mm -hmm. if you are going to eat salad, um, you know, if you do enjoy salad and it's, you know, obviously a great part of a vegetarian diet, um, and you if you start to get sick of it, there's, and you're just starting out, there's really good ways to change your salad and make it a little better. Um, Look into different ways of preparing your vegetables. I know, like, leave some big and crunchy and chop some, dice some, change I up like the textures to, and the yeah, sizes. I, in a vegetarian salad, something that helps me is, like, roasting some vegetables that you yeah. typically oh, yeah. leave raw or even, like, I don't know, just, like, baking some potato wedges and leaving that on the side and... Yep. Yeah, it doesn't have to be boring. I made like a barbecue ranch salad one time that was really good without me. And, and I like, again, you can throw in like the seeds and the nuts and yeah. really you know hammer down that protein. Um, and yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, last one. Um, kind of. do you miss meat? That's another big one. Um, Everyone who like doesn't understand vegetarianism, right? Can't fathom it. And I think I mean if you've grown up. As a vegetarian, since you were born, I would say you probably definitely don't miss it because you never had it. But we both did have meat. You yep. not as much. I didn't have as not much, as much. But... Um, your mother kind of made you be vegetarian for a while because yep. she has been. Um, but you chose to eat meat when you were older, so you do know what it tastes like. And for me personally, 
I do miss the taste of it, but I don't... When I eat meat, I feel guilty, I feel grossed yeah. out, I feel dirty, <laughs> so... I, I mean, I, I totally agree. I'm you, just... You, you, I'm not... Right, I just... I don't like that feeling, yeah. so for me, the flavor of meat, I do miss it sometimes, but it's not yeah. worth it. And it's tough here, like we were saying, we're really rural, and, you know, we don't really ever talk about this stuff with anyone, because... I know it's weird. It's, 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 it's like, not like a big deal, but yeah. like they people don't understand. It's like you, you feel bad eating meat. Like what do you mean? I mean everyone we know hunts. Yeah, yeah. You know, they, like, they hunt. Like it's right. a thing. When hunting season comes around, you take weekends off. Mm -hmm. You go on a hunting. I don't know what they're called. A, tr a hunting trip. Mm -hmm. um, there's hunter breakfasts everywhere. I mean, if you drive down our main street, you can. There's a giant scale. A, a picture like a guillotine without the guillotine. Yeah. And, and it's there's a string, moose. and you'll see dead animals on it yeah. all the time. Like a moose just hanging there, because that's where you go to get your meat. Yeah, and, and like pictures on Facebook and of, yeah. of people yeah. like holding up, you know. You're driving the down the road the and in the back of a and truck. I don't, I'm not going to think you're a terrible person when I see that. You know what I mean? Like, no, that's, it's just... that's your thing, that's fine. That's why I don't really like talking about this in detail with people, because I don't want them to feel like I'm judging them, because I don't care what you do, like, it's your and life. To add on to that, if you're gonna eat meat, if you're going to eat meat, um, getting it yourself is a much um, better alternative. If you're going to eat meat and you're gonna hunt, good on you, really. If that's especially the majority of meat you're going to eat, because I think a lot of, we've said this before, that a lot of vegetarianism, I think, sprang from the factory farming of meat. You know, I, I always ask you, like, would vegetarianism be as popular as it is now and really gaining popularity um, if it weren't for factory farming, if it weren't for stuffing cows with antibiotics, soy, yeah. and corn, and if it had just gone back to... And how bad it is for the environment. If, if farms looked like the pictures you see on the organic boxes, I don't think vegetarianism would be that popular. Yeah, probably not. I mean, it just... The way we... It's kind of turned yeah. into, like, a monster. So, yeah, if you... You know, I work with guys that hunt, and we talk about it a lot, is that if, if you're going to eat meat, raising it by yourself, like if you have chickens or if you have cattle, um, or hunting it is... I mean... Not to mention, if you hunt or raise your own animals, you know what they're being fed. You know if they're getting antibiotics or hormones or whatever, so you can feel more comfortable yeah. when you eat that meat. Hmm. Yeah. Well... That is five things, six things. That's eight. That is a certain number of things that, like, we always hear every time. We without, always hear. Without fail. Yeah. And if you're a meat eater, keep doing your thing. Yeah. If you want to come over and eat veggies with us, then please do. Um, and you can still invite us to your parties with meat there. For sure. Because we will, we we will, will still attend. And we will bring the mushrooms. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, I hope you liked the video and see you next time. Yeah. Do your hand thing.